So, when will the next Ice Age hit us? Well, we are currently in an interglacial period called the Holocene, of the Ice Age that began 2.6 million years ago. Within Ice Ages there are colder periods that are called glacial periods, and there are warmer periods called interglacials. Glacials are characterized by cooler and drier climate over most of the Earth. Mountain glaciers and otherwise unglaciated areas extend to lower areas due to a lower snow line. Sea levels drop due to the removal of large volumes of water above sea level in the ice caps. The Earth has been in an interglacial period known as the Holocene for more than 11,000 years already. It was common knowledge that the typical interglacial period lasts about 12,000 years, however this has been called into question recently. The glacials and interglacials are coincided with changes in Earth's orbit called Milankovitch cycles. The Milankovitch cycles are a set of variations in characteristics of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. Each cycle has a different length, so at some times they affect reinforce each other and at other times they partially cancel each other out. There is however strong evidence that these cycles affect the occurrence of glacial and interglacial periods within the Ice Age. The combined effects of the changing distance to the Sun, the precession of the Earth's axis and the changing tilt of the Earth's axis redistributes the sunlight received by Earth. Of particular importance are changes in the tilt of Earth's axis, which affects the intensity of seasons. So basically there are three general factors that determine the force changes in, the, in these cycles. Eccentricity, which is the elliptical changes in Earth's orbit around the Sun, Obliquinty, which is the tilt of Earth's axis towards and away from the Sun, and Precession, which is the wobble of Earth's axis towards and away from the Sun. Now, I want to quickly touch on the obliquity cycle. I'm sorry if I totally mispronounced this, by the way. The axis tilt or obliquity, quite, obliquity, what the hell is this word, varies to the plane of each Earth's orbit. The tilt, typically around 23.5 degrees, can vary between 22 and 24.5 degrees. That means that it can change up to 2.5 degrees over a period of 41,000 years. Increased obliquity can cause summers to be warmer and winters to be colder. So when our orbit is elliptical and our northern hemisphere, which is the most landmass, is tilted towards the sun, when this happens, we can melt our way out of an ice age pretty fast, in fact it would only take a couple of thousand years. And as we attain a more circular orbit and the combined effects of the tilt and wobble work together in the natural cycles, the Earth has a chance to cool again and off we go. Back into an ice age. On the other side, decreased obliquity can cause cooler summers that in combination with other factors can help push the climate system into ice ages. And we are currently in a decreasing phase, which on the normal, which on the normal circumstances would cool the climate. However, global warming is keeping us nice and warm. So a recent analysis of the sun has revealed that there has been a sharp decrease in the amount of sunspots this year. Sunspots release solar flares and vast amounts of magnetic energy. And for the fourth time this year actually, it was discovered that the sun had gone completely blank, so no sunspots whatsoever. And this has led some experts to believe that the new ice age is on the horizon and could hit us by as early as 2019. So if we look at our history, it is safe to say that weak solar activity for a prolonged period of time can have a cooling impact on global temperature. Because the last time there was such low solar activity was in the 15th century when a mini ice age occurred that causing the Thames to freeze over in the year 1607. So in short, an ice age could happen soon, all the cycles are in there, are in there or reaching their period where there is normally cooling and also there is less sunspot activity. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching!